Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some shifter romance recommendations. I've been in the total shifter romance mood even though it's not like paranormal season whatsoever. I read shifter paranormal romances all year long. I'm obsessed with them. So I have 10 recommendations today where I talk about a bunch of shifter creatures ranging from werewolves to dragons to maybe even balloon animals okay anyway um i do have i think one or two previous rec videos with the shifter trope i will link those down below if you are interested in getting even more recommendations the first book that i would love to recommend is the longing of lone wolves this book is really interesting i've never really read a book like it it's kind of like post-apocalyptic fantasy-esque. So our heroine, she is living in Vegas and something's going on in her current time period where kind of like the world's kind of like ending. There's this gas or something's going on where a bunch of people are dying. There's this orange tint to the sky now, like the world is kind of falling apart. And then she goes to sleep. She wakes up in her like pajamas, just in snow. She's like, where am I? What is going on? She like woke up thousands of years in the future where Vegas is like, doesn't exist anymore. There might be like a stray sign or a car here and there, but it is like full on like a snow land area with trees and fey creatures. When she first wakes up, she almost gets killed by these evil fey creature dudes, but the person who saves her life is a fey that no one else can see. He's been cursed and no one else can see him besides her. And he's like, how can this woman see me? And so he puts her in a bargain. I will save your life if you agree to speak for me um, because he really wants to get back with his people because the reason why he's cursed is because he betrayed some of his people. Anyway, um, basically it's their journey and their trek trying to get him back to unite with his people and to try and maybe find a way for her to go back home, back to her own time period. He is like this fey werewolf shifter. It's like really cool. I've never really read anything like it. So if you want like a unique romance, I definitely recommend this one. Then I have That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Human by Kimberly Lemming. This is Kimberly's latest release in this series. And every single book in the series is about a shifter of some sort falling in love with a human woman in this like fantasy realm. They're actually really funny, short reads. I have a good time reading them. There's like a bunch of hijinks and one-liners. I think it's very, really funny. Okay, um, so this one, our heroine in here, Cherry, has been missing for quite a while. You get to read about her sister in book number one. She's been looking for Cherry her entire life. Turns out Cherry was kidnapped by a dragon shifter and she's been held up in like this tower, kind of like a Rapunzel tower for years. And she's trying to escape this dragon. It's not working. Anyway, one of the dragon's buddies comes to visit him, figures out that there's like a woman in this tower. And he's like, oh crap, I need to like save this woman. She's probably not there for free will. And then when he looks at her, he figures out that that's his fated mate, uh, but he doesn't disclose that at first. So this one is actually really fun. Again, Kimberly Lemming makes me laugh so hard in every single one of her books. So another wolfish creature is Dark City Omega by Elizabeth Stevens. This is the first book in her newest series. These are Omegaverse, kind of like post-apocalyptic fantasy also. I don't really know if it takes place on Earth or a different fantasy realm, but this one, our heroine, just found out that she's an Omega. If you don't know what Omegas are, um, it's in Omegaverse, like you have Alpha, alphas, betas, and omegas. And so omegas are very revered after alphas in order to like have babies with essentially. <laughs> um, so the heroine just figured out that she is an omega. She's not happy about it. She's trying to find a safe place that she can go to for omegas when she gets attacked and taken down by an alpha who's our hero. And I just want to leave it there because there's so much to this story, but he has like this werewolf shifter and from the moment he scents the heroine he's like oh my gosh this woman is mine she is mine but they don't really get off on the right foot obviously because she thinks that he is trying to kill her at first <laughs> a ruby dixon one fire in her eyes this is i don't remember what book maybe like book number five or six in her fire blood dragon series i'm pretty sure i've talked about this series in my other shifter rec videos but this one i think is my favorite in the series because it's the only book in the series with a heroine who is the dragon creature. So this whole series is about dragon shifters who are also kind of like aliens 
dragons okay so one day on earth a rift opened up in the sky and dragons started flying through and kind of like decimating the whole planet and so now there's only a few human survivors here and there in like little camps and they don't live the best life right and they also don't know that these dragon shifters can shift into humans i mean they figure that out in book number one when the heroine from book number one basically gets sacrificed to a dragon he shifts into a man and it's like oh my gosh that's my mate and so the heroine in here she's one of those dragon creatures and she is able to scent our hero his name is gabe he's been a part of i think the last two books before this one so i do kind of recommend reading these in order he really wants to have tiva the heroine like get her full brain back because earth can't really i don't know how to describe it like earth is not the best place for these dragons they kind of go mad and crazy they lose their mind like they don't know who they are so he's trying to help this dragon who keeps following him everywhere to figure out who she is again and then yeah she turns into her humanoid form and things happen between the two of them if you want more of an alien one i have american werewolf in space this was a book club book for tiffany and i's beam me up book club where we read like monster alien romances so we picked this one up and it's really cool because the heroine is the shifter okay so our heroine is actually a werewolf shifter and she gets kidnapped with a bunch of other human women by aliens on this spaceship but these aliens don't know that she's a werewolf shifter though and so she goes she goes she goes at him okay she shifts into her werewolf form and just like attacks everybody she ends up finding that they have a prisoner on the ship other than the human women who is this like scary looking alien dude kind of looks like venom like basically kind of looks like venom but he has like tentacles and stuff coming out of him anyway they find out that they're fated mate so she's like oh my gosh this alien creature is my fated mate and um they're kind of like dancing around each other it's really hot and sweet at the same time but it's actually really funny this heroine is really funny i feel like one you need to read if you love shifter romances is wolf song by tj clune this is the first book in uh the green creek series this is the romance between ox and joe oh by the way also this whole entire series are about like werewolf shifters in this specific pack but book number one just focuses on ox and joe so when ox is i think around 16 18 um he's walking home from work and a little boy just finds him walking down the street and invites him over to his house is just talking his ear off his name is joe he's I think around like 10 or something ox is kind of like thrown into joe's life a life and a family full of werewolf shifters it takes place in like time jumps because obviously they don't fall in love with joe's 10 um so there is like an age gap between the two and they don't fall for each other or at least ox doesn't figure out his feelings for joe for many years even though joe always has a little crush on his older friend but joe is a werewolf shifter ox isn't but he's kind of like an honorary family member like this family will protect him till the day that he dies honestly so if you want like a sweet immersive amazing werewolf shifter romance i really recommend this one a hot one is entranced by the basilisks by lillian lark lillian lark writes some amazing shifter romances i think i've included her kraken one she has a werewolf one she has like a bunch of them so the basilisks one is an mmf romance so our two heroes are basilisks, which are like snake kind of creatures. I just picture the basilisk from Harry Potter and that skeeves me out though. So I just like kind of picture a snake, I don't know. But any hoozles, they are exes because one of the men kind of like cut off their relationship because he didn't feel like he was worthy enough because apparently basilisks have a hierarchy and he's like, I'm like the lowest of the low. You're the highest of the high. I don't want to burden you with this because they like really revere like hierarchy in society whatever but the higher up society dude is like oh no i don't give a crap like be with me and the lower guy's like no i don't want to ruin your life anyway the lower guy is actually the boss to this antiquing artifact museum the heroine is actually a human woman who works in this museum and she opens up a box one day and oh no not a box i think she opens a book maybe and she gets spelled with kind of like a medusa spell where like snakes are growing out of her hair <laughs> and she's like petrifying people turning people to stone and so she's like distraught she's like i don't want this <laughs> like i need this to be fixed the hero she works for ends up taking her to his ex because he's he knows a lot about magical stuff and they kind of work together to get these snakes out of her hair to get this curse lifted off of her but they end up falling for each other throughout it so it's really hot it's really fun i really recommend another fun one that i read recently is feral this is another like kind of like workplace-ish romance so the heroine of this story is kind of like another like artifact 
antique person where she verifies artifacts in this museum. The museum has kind of like linked her to our werewolf shifter man because his pack is going through something and she's very knowledgeable about like certain artifacts and he thinks that one of these artifacts is poisoning his pack. And so she's gonna go undercover because they will not accept anyone into the pack unless like you're a mate or your family member, whatever the case may be. So she becomes his fake mate in order to figure out what's going on in the pack, maybe find this artifact. And the two fall for each other. Um, this one is like, reminds me of like the beast by Jenna Snow, like where he stays as a beast during everything. Um, <laughs> so I guess if you like the beast by Jenna Snow, you can pick this one up. But yeah, he's like a werewolf shifter guy, kind of like what he looks like on the cover. So kind of reminds me of like Professor Lupin from Harry Potter a little bit. <laughs> I have two novellas to recommend also. First is Wyvern by Grace Draven. This is a dragon shifter romance, very short. Our heroine lives in this land and there's this dragon basically scaring all the people in the land. And they're like, okay, we need you, the heroine, to go like distract him or something, figure out what's going on. I don't remember why again, but she's a really talented, like, uh, I think it's either a fiddle or a flute, something with an F, I can't remember. She's very talented on this one specific instrument and she's going to lure the dragon and maybe like convince him to like leave her people alone. But once she lures him, she figures out, wait, why does this dragon look so familiar? And he might have a connection to the love of her life that like left her years ago. So I just wanna leave it at that because it is a novella. And then my last one is Squeak by Vera Valentine. This is the balloon shifter one, okay? This is actually an audiobook and it's actually really funny because there's sometimes like balloon shifter sounds in the middle of, you know what? <laughs> it's actually really funny. So it's an Omegaverse, I think? Omegaverse balloon shifter romance where it's MMF and these two creatures have been like cursed to turn into men that are like balloon shifters, that are balloons. And then they're cursed to be men I think they were originally they were originally balloons cursed to be men and there's this one woman that like brings them together okay it's really i had a i had, I had a funny time reading these really funny time because there's a sequel also so <laughs> anyways there you have it those are some shifty romances for you let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me a wolf emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all